Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Yes! Nice. I really felt the energy with that one. Yes, it's exciting. It's exciting. I haven't been on this stage for a while. What are you so excited uh, about? Well, check it out, yo. Uh, Brick Maniacs, <laughs> we are back with an awesome new one, build. One of my favorite kits of all time, the Striker. The Striker. Cool. John, give us some history or, well, or whatever you want to talk about. So, as many people know, mm -hmm. or all people know, or some people know, I used to be in a, my company was Brick Brigade before, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. came to work at Brick Mania. Brick Brigade, we did a striker before. Mm -hmm. This is the version I did before, which at the time I thought was really, really awesome. But, but. version two, B2. right? Trying to keep it a little bit more accurate, right. maybe, to the actual um, dimensions of the real, real thing. Sure. Took some time to re research it a little bit farther, look at reference, and we came up with this version, which Here we go. So this is our all brand new version of the Striker. Brand new version. Right. 2.0. Really awesome. Really awesome. Check um, this out. I was really jealous of the guys here that were able to put steering into their vehicles. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if my little pea brain can actually <laughs> figure out and sort of like sort of fumble my way through it. But I actually came yeah. up. And, you know, with getting feedback from these guys, Cody gave me great feedback so we could keep the tires from rubbing against this, this point right here. We, we tried a little bit different way of m implying this sort of uh, point here. Yeah. So now you've got um, a vehicle that's got really cool steering. You can steer it with the machine gun. Um, I've been, Super I was, cool. I love the fact that you can steer it with the machine gun. As you I was, and I was crashing it through things and rolling over things. And it's very sturdy. So yeah, we, cool. we try to keep the wheel sets. So they, when you, if you're going to play hard with it, it'll keep up with you, cool. right? Cool. So again, this is, this is an IAV um, striker. Um, Interim armored vehicle, basically. There's so many variations for oh, this yeah. thing. You can put a cannon on it. You can put a turret. You can put um, mortar on there. It can be a medic vehicle right. and a command vehicle. So this sort of implies that it's a command vehicle because it's got all the antennas for coordinating with the rest of the. And this is this is the basic group. configuration that you get with the kit. This is what you get with the kit. So. Right. Um, but we're trying some new things out here. We're doing um, the add-on packs. We've right? got some great add-on packs. Went over um, really well with the Huey. Uh, so now we're bringing them back for the Striker. Right. So let's just, just go through some of yeah. them um, so we can show you how it works. We'll move the machine gun out of the way first, actually. And we'll take this top off. Comes off very easily. Check See that? that out. Comes off very easily. Now let's say we want to put on the mortar. So here's the little mortar here that we're going to place. Cool, first of all, let's check out. That's a cool little build, actually, just in and of itself. Um, so that'll go right inside of this compartment over here. So show that right. off how you do that. Right, so I'm just going to place it right inside of yep. here. So I'm going to press it down like that. Yep. So now it would be in its down position for transport. Mm -hmm. You also get, of course, this cool uh, top for it. Nice. So this will go in basically where the other one was. And like so. Nice. And look at that. All Close buttoned up, up. For, for transport, right? You also have this little sort of round deal here. So you can use this to help you steer and so forth. Keep that would just be to cover up the machine gun mount. Yeah, so it looks a little nicer and you still have a little bit of a, of a piece small, that you can yeah. actually use to... to um, so that is the mortar variant. This is the mortar variant. So cool. we're not done yet though. Oh, 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 so this oh. opens up, right? Yep. And the mortar actually... So that opened up. The mortar actually swings up. There's a little bar that comes down. That's kind of hard to see in that little space, but there's a little bar that comes down to support the mortar. And now you can launch mortars yes. at your enemy. Super um, awesome. I believe they actually keep it open in the back when they're firing. Check that out. Nice. You would want the hatch open when you're shooting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the rear, the rear, the rear uh, door is down when it's firing. Yeah. So they don't. All right, that is the mortar configuration. That's the mortar configuration, right. So you also, here's the other add-on. So this is a grenade launcher, huh? That is a grenade launcher, right. So you have 
This is an auto grenade launcher, meaning it's controlled remotely right. from inside the vehicle, so they right. don't have to go in the harm's way. Um, you, can, you can take your MTHB, which also fits right on here in the same configuration, or you can use the MK19 right. grenade launcher. And those just mount um, basically Right the in same the spot where you took the machine gun from. So right, exactly. Perfect. I'll put that back in there like Ooh. so. There. So, so this is your original top. This comes with, it's a light weapons pack, yeah. so it comes with auto turrets that you can replace with right. your, we, we, we took this off, we took the M2HB off right. that controls the, the steering. Now you can control the steering with actually a larger object, which is actually, Ooh. almost makes it a little bit easier. Cool. Um, and you can replace that with its uh, auto MK, MK19 auto mm -hmm. turret or the M2HB, you can actually fit in the exact same spot cool. as this. So that's the light nice. weapons pack. That is the light weapons pack. Right. How many packs in total do we have here? There's two packs. Two other packs, so there's one more. Besides, besides adding on minifigures, mm -hmm. you can add on two different weapons packs. There we go. So we've got this one. We'll, we'll take this off for now, this pack. So again, for the heavy weapons pack, you're taking the top off like you would, would have before. You're taking these two pieces off, right? And so the first first up is we'll do the most complicated one first. Okay. So that is the, what is this one? What do we got? This we got one here? is the M1134 anti-tank ground missile vehicle. Well, ground missile system for the Trekker vehicle. So we can recess back into there and pop back up. Isn't that my understanding of this? That's correct. Cool. So first we put on the actual missile support system. So we put that on. Then, then we load on. We've, we've push this flap down here. We put this on over that and put it down into place. And then we can take the actual missile carrying part and attach that to the top. So first of all, so that's, that's in its upright firing position. Now you have a, this little piece here, mm -hmm. which what that does is it closes up the hole here. Ah. So you put that in there, which holds there it firmly go. in there. And now you've got this cool, um, Guided missile system. So when does, does the actual thing, is that able to go up and down? Yeah, so, so what you do is you take this piece out. Right. So this piece just holds in, uh, covers up the hole, plus it allows the thing to be very stable when you're turning sure. it. But now you can actually tilt it forward. So that's this for is, transit. That's for tran transportation purposes. Right. And then you can actually push up the little sort of flap that was in the back there. Mm -hmm. You can barely now see it, but now up. it covers up that little part of the cool. hole there. So cool. it's, a, it's a well thought out little device. Nice. So. Next up in the heavy weapons pack, you have the Dragoon. That's right, right the Dragoon, which is very cool. Super cool. It's a uh, Bushmaster. Got it. Oh, you got your cheese. MK44, <laughs> 30 millimeter Bushmaster chain gun. Chain gun. Chain. Like chain gang, cool. but well, a chain gun. Let's install this. Let's get this. Let's get the uh, striker right, so this up is, armored here. This is very simple. So, clearing away any debris that's down there from other. So we have a completely blank canvas. More or less. Bam. We put this right in there. Drop that down. And then you got your dragoon turret. Now check that out. It's very cool looking. Um, really awesome. If I saw this coming at me in battle, I would run the other direction for sure. Absolutely. But that's I'm a coward. Bushmaster so. chain gun. That's about the coolest sounding thing. Right, so this the is Dragoon, also... Dragoon, Bushmaster, chain gun. Exactly. This, right. Bushmaster, it's a cool name, whoever gave it that, that name. Um, this is also an auto turret, basically, so they're controlling this from, from hopefully safe inside the, the vehicle itself. That's why you have this sensor on here with cameras and so forth indi indicated here. Nice. Um, and then when it's firing in firing position, these things will open up. So th these aren't really for any person to be inside, but they will lift up so you can actually get some elevation in the gun. Oh, interesting. So. Cool. Fun Next stuff. Next up, so this is simple to remove too, right? Simple to remove. Bam, um, that's it. We've got this one, which and we'll go And finally, look at, let's, let's show this off. Let's okay. Check this thing out. Look at this. Big boomer. So they're trying to turn this striker into a, big a, into a tank, pretty much, with this thing. This is pretty crazy. What's yeah. really neat about this when it fires, I mean, it, it, of course, it's made for long distance capabilities. I'm assuming firing. it's as easy as this. Oh, check that out. All right. So there you'll sometimes see them. I, I, I saw one firing like this Ooh. in this position, and it kind of rocks 
rocks a little when it fires. That's almost like, is that like an artillery when they're firing it like that? Yeah, it's, <laughs> evidently they thought that was a good idea. The vehicle didn't fall over, so I guess it's heavy enough to, to withstand the blast. This is a machine gun actually that's housed in the side here. Sure. This little thing here, so they can actually lay down machine gun fire through that as well. And then what's kind of neat about this is when it fires, the spent shells, this thing pops open and the spent shells come flying out. That's awesome. Let's just kind of like, like that. <laughs> Come flying out the back when it hopefully when it, the uh, uh, fires. the round is not part of the show, right? So I believe this is a uh, didn't write it down, but I believe it's a 105 millimeter. Don't quote me on that. I won't quote. Uh, that. It's it, in this partic partic particular situation. It's uh, its name is an M1128 cannon. Nice. So super crazy awesome. Yeah. So again, when you do the heavy weapons pack, you get all these cool. Weapons here. Look at that. The That's the pack. Anti you get. tank missile that is guided the pack missile to get. system. That's super cool. The Dragoon turret, and then you get the, the heavy duty 105. These kits are screaming to have minifigs along with them because, Literally. of course, you need, they need to be able to do driven and have the guy on the machine of gun course, and so forth. Of course. So, this was our first idea for minifigs to put in there um, the classic rock monsters. Is that what they um, call them? Rock raiders. Um, monsters of rock. I don't know. High five. It's like That's the more coolest like a high rock five. And roll. But there's some there's some problems. They don't quite fit where they're supposed to fit, and they're a little bulky, and the old old brown. Eh, I don't know about old brown. Old so. brown. So we moved on from that. There's different ways you can go with the minifix for this, right? Sure. We want to give you a machine gun because right. you got to have some protection. But we know some customers might already have something they want to use. Right. But if you want to go, you know, just use your own pieces or you can um, purchase plain pieces and just, then put just on... brick arms that yeah, works just super well. Brick arms helmet, brick, arm, brick arms um, armor. And so you can take this guy, fold his arms up, and he's ready to like drive away, right? He's yep. all ready to go there. So really cool there. He's right in the, right in the cockpit. This is actually how you'll see them driving it around. Yeah, well, their, heads, their heads are just sticking out. Heads sticking out. During um, combat, obviously, they'll, they'll uh, button up a little bit more. Yes, if they're smart. Yes. Now, one thing we didn't point out was, you know, you can do your basic right. minifigure like that, but you also have these cool um, army. Right, yeah. That's, You're the expert uh, in this area. We went over this in the sit rep uh, yesterday. We can show them here again. Um, these are just standard army riflemen, uh, current era. Modern, uh, modern rifleman. Um, yeah, you get three different choices as far as the look yeah, goes. Yeah, super cool. Um, but this would be the, this nice. if you really wanted to be accurate to who would be driving this vehicle, who would be the, the um, soldiers that would be assigned to this kind it. of vehicle, would be sure. a... There, look at that. Army Missile. Modern Camo. So this is OCP rifleman. camouflage. OCP um, camouflage, okay. Operational camouflage pattern. Very similar to multi-cam. Almost identical. Um, yeah, just our modern uniform. That's Sweet. the Striker. Um, any final? It's a very cool vehicle. It's very versatile. Um, I think it looks awesome. Super but I'm awesome. a little biased. Super biased. Super awesome. All right, that's the Striker. Designed that's the Striker. by John. Yeah. Uh, for more information, check out brickmania.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell. Is it with the bell here somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Click the uh, bell or John gets it. An angel it. gets its wings? John gets his wings. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Come on.